Hey guys, it's CCL, and this is page 28 of my Mushroom Forest Fairy story from chapter 3. And um, yeah, I wanted to record this one just because I wanted to talk about one of the characters that's in this picture. She kind of briefly appeared in two previous pages, um, page uh, 27, but you could only see her from the back. And um, an earlier page in chapter two, I can't remember which page it was, but she was, it was like really tiny in the distance and she wasn't like the focal point of the picture anyway. But I really wanted to talk about her. Her name is Morel and she's on the far right of, of the picture. And originally when I was looking up uh, different types of mushrooms, I came across one that was called the Morel mushroom. And there was a description that said it was one of the ugliest mushrooms. And I kind of, after googling pictures I didn't actually think that it looks that ugly it's got like a honeycomb pattern on it so I thought that description was sort of a bit odd but I decided to kind of go with it of the ugly mushroom and so I created a a slightly um like a character who's got like sl a slight facial disfigurement and she's also got a hump on her back it's on her like right shoulder there's like a hump so she's kind of like my Quasimodo character um because I've always felt in like the Disney cartoon of Quasimodo that uh it was really important the way um people with disabilities and stuff are represented so I wanted to create this character who had um you know a I guess sort of a, a disability, except it doesn't really stop her from doing anything, it kind of just affects her self-confidence a lot. Um, she's quite a minor character in the story, but she's sort of important as well, because if you actually cover half of her face with your hand, I actually designed her so that she's actually one of the most beautiful characters in my whole story. It's just that you can't see her beauty because your eyes are instantly drawn to the like the disfigurement on her face so it was kind of important that I wanted to talk about her and everything because uh yeah I think it's important that people understand that beauty is sort of in the eye of the beholder and sometimes you just have to look harder to see a person's like beauty on what it is about them that's special and and everything so this character she was designed to be like the prettiest one in in the story but you don't really notice it unless you're properly looking this picture probably isn't the best example because her face is so tiny it was difficult to kind of draw it but um i have other pictures of her and there'll be other pictures of her in the future as well where if you cover her half of her face with your hand you'll be able to go oh she's really really cute but she's really cute anyway but i mean you'll see like the the extra cuteness if you put your <laughs> put your hand on half of her face but so anyway this was a the third page of the third chapter of my story um they're about to go and witness a magic show held by the character called foon um and oh my god i had so much trouble drawing button's face she's the little character sort of on the left sitting on the mushroom but oh my god i i i spent it got to be at least an hour trying to draw her face and her eyes and her smile with her dimples and just failing this was sort of the the best i could do <laughs> after many failed attempts it was it was the best out of a, a bad lot of attempts at her face every time I tried to fix it I just tried ended up making it worse so ah oh, so much juggles but anyway um thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the inking of this page and you can check out deviant art for the other pages of my story on the same username reality dash bunny um and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all soon bye